Hello and welcome to a new kind of video on the channel. Um, big on FM as you can tell on the channel with the IAC save and the how to series and I'm planning on doing a lot of content for the uh, Football Manager 2020 beta and main game. Um, so this video is just what I will, I'm hoping to see in the game. They uh, have announced the game, they said it's going to be coming out in November, normally mid-November. Um, release date yet to be confirmed but we know that the beta is going to be out early if you pre-order the game which I've already done um, so this is just a list of things I'd like to see in the game and I know a lot of the um, YouTubers and streamers and you know people who just play the game for fun want to see in the game so the first one is better player interactions now in the game at the moment you can only really praise decline or ask for their advice it'd be nice for them to come to you with certain issues um and you to be able you know as a manager you're a mentor as, as well you know sometimes you're a father figure to some of the players especially the youngsters um there should be more scenarios in the game for players to get themselves into and players things that happen in the players lives like there's in the game at the moment which i think is brilliant is players come out as gay which i think is amazing um good for the game good for the, the world of football in general there should be other life events that happen to the players that you can have an impact on you can have a say on you can encourage or you can punish or whatever you know it'd be nice to get a thing and say this player this player and this player went out on a night out last night and uh missed training in the morning or you know there is if there was a fight between these two players can they play together do you have to sit down and have a talk with them it'd just be nice for the whole player interaction to be um, just to be overhauled basically it'd be nice to be able to go to a player as well and say just be able to ask him something or tell him something, something maybe on football related just ask him how he is I just think that would be better it would help to improve morale and you could then instead of sending them out on a leadership course you could potentially help them become a better person a better leader on the pitch the player interactions for me is a big one this is in no particular order by the way this is just the first one number two a more realistic board <sighs> what what is the point in them offering you a contract with more money when you can't do anything with your money um the only thing it stands for if you have a big contract on big money is it's it's harder for them to sack you because of the compensation it would be nice if the board um were just a little bit more i don't know what the word is i'm looking for but it's a little bit smarter in the game they uh they just they don't really serve a purpose too much they're either too lenient or too strict you feel like you know i've done a a database save on uh on the workshop with the Bolton and Bury minus deductions. Now, the, I I've got a theory that the game won't take into consideration or minus twelve points. And you, if you get relegated with Bolton or Bury, they're just gonna sack you. But they've got to take into consideration that you've got minus twelve points. You've got no money. They can't offer anyone players uh, any players any money or contracts or whatever. You're playing youngsters. You're not staying up after minus 12 points if you do then well done to you just a more realistic board more realistic views for me um and it should take into consideration the last two or three years as well as the projection of the next two or three years of your finances if in two years you're projected to lose a lot of money they can't be expecting you to do miracles in the transfer market so that needs to be looked at for me not a big one but a little look at that would be good. Now, I don't do press conferences for the simple reason is they are long, and boring, and they don't really have too much impact on the on the game. I always send my assistant manager out. If they were shorter, and there was maybe like a, a little animation while you're doing them, um, like a more interactive, uh, a more interactive way of doing them, maybe. The person who's asking the question pop up on screen and or you you're looking out from your point of view out into a press conference with a lot of people sat down someone will stand up and ask you a question could not be done as 
images. It doesn't have to be sort of like animated um, graphically. Um, like a slideshow. Someone just stands up, question comes up, he sits down, someone else stands up. It's a little bit more interactive. Um, and just better questions, man. The questions are boring. I, nobody doesn't. Nobody I know goes through these press conferences. Uh, next one, and this is a big one for me. This is my main one. More in-depth character creation. Now, you create your character, which looks shocking regardless of what you do with it, because of the graphics. It would be nice for you to be able to go into in-depth past career. So if you've chose as your managerial thing, former international footballer on a world stage, let us write. Let us write a bio of, you know, played so many England caps, played so I got so many England goals. Let us put in our clubs that we played for, and what years we played for them. Obviously, we can only go up till the date that the game starts. And let us put in stuff like little bio. I played for Leeds up until he was twenty one. Then he made his dream move to Liverpool, for instance where he scored so many goals and let us put them stats in it would be nice to have a little in-depth character creation plus just update the graphics on the on the managers they look horrendous and what I've noticed on this football manager compared to a couple before you could upload an image as your manager when you're in the game you know like if you press the home button and then your image will be there you don't seem to be able to do that anymore it's unfortunate uh, number five and this is on everybody's list Updated graphics and match engine. Now, it's a long shot. I know that. You know that. Football manager seems to know that. Um, and judging by the recent tweet from Miles saying that football manager is unrivaled for the graphics of a, this type of game and the match engine, doesn't look like it's going to be overhauled, this, this FM. But you'd have just thought with it being like a landmark 2020 you would have you'd have thought they might be pull some out of the bag. We we yet to see. They might do, but I'm not confident. Updated match graphics. It looks like it's FIFA two thousand. And in two thousand and twenty you'd at least expect it to look like FIFA two thousand and four. Just a little bit more niche, a little bit more cutting edge. Not asking for not asking to look four K, you know, like FIFA twenty is gonna look. But it's gotta be updated a little bit. And plus the match engine itself, like players don't look like they're dribbling the ball. It'd be nice to see a player do a step over. It'd be nice to see keepers actually diving instead of just going. <sighs> that would be nice. And it's just, I don't watch the game in 3D. I watch it in 2D and then I watch the goals in 3D. Um, you would have seen on my channel or if you follow me on Twitch, the scene on my Twitch. I just get bored of watching him. There's no excitement in the game really. And then I get to see the goals anyway. Match engine with VAR or goal line technology needs to be updated a little bit. Have you ever had a goal go in? Like be given as a goal from over the line? Because I haven't. And I know a lot of people haven't. So they're my five. Um leave in the comments if you think of anything else that you'd like to see in it. And uh, if I get another five from people, maybe, maybe I'll make another video of five more reasons to play Football Manager. But thanks for watching, and we'll catch you on the next episode, which hopefully I'll have won 17 league titles and 17 Champions Leagues with Ajax. Thanks for watching, and goodbye.